English Lids is an interesting little piece. Um, in it you get to do quite a lot of repetition with your left hand. And you'll also notice that your right hand gets to cross over your left and play down lower in the bass clef. It does that twice. And you also get to practice your pedal. So let's begin. Our left hand starts. It does the first two measures alone. We're going to start with our left hand little finger on the A below middle C. And we're going to play a pattern for the entire line. It's going to be A with our, with our pinky, thumb on E above, forefinger B, thumb on E. And that's what it does, that same pattern. A, E, B, E, A, E, B, E. Now these are all eighth notes that the left hand is playing. Uh, for the entire piece, the only time it doesn't play eighth notes is at the very end on the last chord. So, your left hand will play two measures worth of this eighth note pattern. That means two patterns per measure and you are going to play the pedal. Now you'll notice that it has, the music has little um, indents where you're supposed to clear the pedal. And what that means is you're just going to lift the pedal up and put it back down. That's to clear the extra echoes. So listen to how it sounds if I do that versus if I don't. Here I'm going to, first time I'm going to clear it at the end of each measure. try not clearing it. You can soon hear just a little too much in the way of echoes. So that's why they want you to clear it at the end of each measure. So we're doing two measures of the left hand pattern and then the right hand gets to come in. The right hand is going to play a half note followed by two quarter notes, and then the second measure it will play a whole note. And it's going to do this again on the next line. We start with our right hand, five finger on the A, two A's above middle C, and the left hand will start its pattern with the little finger on the A below middle C. So the right hand will play A, four finger on G sharp, two finger on E, and here's the whole note, thumb on C sharp. Now while we're, how we match it up with the left hand, for the half note, we, we will play four eighth notes in the left hand while we're holding that half note, like this. Now we have the quarter notes, and the left hand will play two eighth notes in the time that we're holding each quarter note. So it'll sound like this. And then with the E, and then we're gonna play the pattern two times while we hold the whole note. Remember the pattern is A, E, B, E. Now, that's the first line. I'm gonna play the, the whole first line. hand you want to make sure the right hand is a little louder than the left hand because the left hand is just a pattern just an accompaniment the right hand is the melody and should be louder than the left now we're going on to the second line now here we just shift everything down by one note so the left hand will be doing the same pattern but now the little finger will start on G below middle C and then thumb to D four finger to A thumb to D. So the pattern G, D, A, D, G, D, A, D. And the right hand will be doing the same half note, two quarter notes, and actually it's going to do a dotted half uh, in the second measure of the line. And it'll start with the little pinky on G for the half note, then four finger F sharp, two finger D, and thumb on B for the half note, dotted half. And when we add them together, 
both hands together. Their left hand will play four eighth notes while we hold the half note. Then two eighth notes while we hold the quarter notes. D. And during the dotted half, we're going to play six eighth notes in the left hand. What next? Well, now we're going to move the right hand one note down. We're going to have our thumb on A above middle C. And our right hand is going to play two eighth notes to go along with the two eighth notes on the left. And they'll actually be playing thumb on A along with four finger A on the left and then two finger on B to go along with the thumb on D in the left. Now, this is the third measure. The left hand will scooch back up to the first position we were using on the first line, the A, E, B, E pattern. And the right hand will be playing three finger on C sharp. This is a dotted half note and it will be followed by two eighth notes. So here we go, we're going to have six eighth notes to play in the left hand during the time that we're holding the dotted half note in the right hand. Now we're going to do the two eighth notes in the right hand. Five finger will play E, goes along with four finger on B in the left, and then four finger on the right hand plays D, while the left hand plays thumb on E. Now the right hand is going to play a whole note, three finger on C sharp, and the left hand will play eight eighth notes or two repetitions of the pattern while we hold that C sharp. Now you may notice there is a crescendo sign in that measure, so we're supposed to be getting a little bit louder while we play that. And listen for that while I play the second line for you. So the right hand has to cross over the left hand and go down low. The thumb will be on A. This is two A's below middle C. And this is a half dotted half note followed by two eighth notes. The left hand is going to play a very similar pattern to what it was playing, but one note will be different. The left hand will be playing A, E, but instead of B. We're going to play two finger on D instead, and then go back to E. So the pattern is A, E, D, E. And that will be for this measure. So we're going to hold down the A with our right hand thumb down low, and play six eighth notes to go along with it. the right hand is going to move its pinky finger to G. This is G below middle C and is actually right next to your pinky on your left hand. And it will go along with two finger D in the left hand. Then the left, right hand will play four finger F sharp which will go along with thumb on E in the left hand. Sounds funny but it works out. Then the next measure, the left hand is going to move down one. So your pinky will be on G, the G below middle C, and it's going to play again a very similar pattern to what we did in the second line, but with one change. It'll play G, thumb on D, then instead of A, we'll play two finger C, and then it'll go back to D. So the pattern is G, this measure. The right hand is going to play a three finger on E. We're still down low, lower than the left hand. And then it's going to play a quarter note after that. So let's play the six eighth notes on the left hand to go along with the dotted half in the right hand. Now your right hand is going to go even lower. 
the thumb will go down to two G's below a middle C, and we'll, it's a quarter note, so you're going to play it along with two finger on C in the left hand, and then while you're holding the quarter note with the right hand, your thumb will go on to play the D in your left hand. Now your left hand is going to move back up to the A position, and it's going to go back to the A, E, D, E pattern for one round of that pattern, while your right hand is playing two finger on A, two A's below middle C. Then we play another A, E. Now we have a little shift. Left hand goes back down to the G position. The right hand will play thumb on G. This is two G's below middle C, while the left hand plays little finger on G below middle C. So two G's. Now the right hand will play two finger on G sharp, while the thumb on the left hand plays D. And then Let's just move your thumb, we'll cross it up to your right hand thumb, to A, this is two A's below middle C, and your left hand moves back to the A position to play the A, E, D, E pattern. So the right hand will be playing thumb on A, it's a whole note, while the left hand plays two repetitions of its A pattern. you go, right hand goes back to treble clef, so now it's going to be up above again. Now, your right hand's going to play some chords on this line. Uh, but before we do that, let me play the entire third line so you can hear what it sounds like. I'm going back to have my right hand cross over my left and be low. going to play some chords. It's going to start off with a thumb on C sharp above middle C, two finger E, and five finger A above that. That's the chord. The left hand will go back to playing the first pattern that we had, A, E, B, E. Now the right hand will play a dotted half note followed by a quarter note, both the same chord. Now the left hand will play six eighth notes to go along with the first dotted half note chord in the right hand. Now it's going to repeat the chord while our left hand continues to play B, E. Now both hands will scooch down one. The left hand will be in the G position and play the G, D, A, D pattern that we did in the second line. And the right hand will play the chord with thumb on B, two finger D, five finger G. Again, it's a dotted half note followed by a quarter note, same chord. Now the left hand will scooch back up to the A position that we used on the first line, the A, E, B, E. And the right hand will scooch down one to play a triad chord, thumb on A, this is the A above middle C, three finger C sharp above that, five finger E above that. And this is a whole note, and it's actually tied to another whole note in the next measure. So it will just hold while the left hand plays its pattern four times. line. But let me play the fourth line for you in its entirety. Now the right hand gets to cross over the left hand again and go down low. Your right hand will be playing thumb on A. This is two A's below middle C and your five finger on E. It's going to have 
have a dotted half note followed by a quarter note, both the same chord. Your left hand will be playing the pattern that we did in the third line, A, E, D, E, for the, the whole measure. It'll play six eighth notes in the time that we hold the first dotted half note for the right hand. Now we're going to repeat the chord, the quarter note chord, while we play D, E with the left hand. Now the hands will both scooch down one. Left hand will go to that G position and play the same chord pattern we did in the third line with the G, D, C, D for this measure. And the right hand will be playing thumb on G, two G's below middle C, five finger on D, again a dotted half note, followed by a quarter note, same chord. Now we're going to scooch back up one, both hands, to the A position. The left hand will be playing A, E, D, E for one repetition while the right hand is holding thumb on A, five finger on E. This is a whole note tied to another whole note, so it holds this chord for the last two measures. Now the left hand will play another chord pattern, slightly different. We're going back to the A, E, B, E, because it makes it sound like an end. And then the left hand will play five finger on A, and three finger on C sharp for a whole note chord to help end the whole piece. Now here's the fifth line in its entirety. And that's English Woods!